I am back with another really cool bath bomb tonight. This one is from Georgia Charms. This one is named Cat Cave, but it was formerly named Cave of Wonders, and that is because it was inspired by Aladdin. And if you've seen that movie, then you know exactly what scene this is in, or a couple of different scenes. Now, you can do the math here. That is one of my very, very favorite Disney movies because it came out the year I graduated from high school, so it kind of has a little soft spot in my heart, that movie does. But anyway, I think this is a really, really cool looking bath bomb. I think it's just an awesome blue color. You can tell it's going to have a lot of color in it. I think it will, but it's just really different. I love the idea of this bath bomb. The scent on this is Ribbon Candy spiced tea, a hint of cinnamon, and she says it smells like a flower shop at Christmas. Now, I do think that this has definitely a light floral scent, but to me, it's just really, it's kind of a tangy scent, I guess. Um, I don't really smell the cinnamon. I guess the spiced, spiced tea is probably good, like a light, tangy, florally with maybe some spiced tea. I guess that um, that's kind of how I would describe it. But it's definitely a different scent for me, but I like it and I think it's going to be really cool. So we'll go ahead and get it in the tub and see what it looks like. Oh, I love that sound. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to float or not, so I'm going to hold him up for just a minute. Ooh, he smells good. The last couple I've had from her, oh, they smelled so good. The Grinch and the Abominable Snowman, oh, it smelled so good. But they floated, so I'm just let this guy go. Oh. <laughs> there go his eyes. <gasps> Oh man, that looks cool. That looks really cool. So she's got a lot of really cool, um, like character inspired bombs in her shop. And this one is still available. The Abominable Snowman, which oh, is one of my favorite ones that I did over the holidays, the scent and the watercolor. Um, he's still available too. I think he was marked down, either marked down or she's got um, like a, a special going on right now. And she does make her own molds, which I love it when bomb makers make their own molds. So the bombs can be unique to their shop. He just wants to just keep coming over here. It seems like the Grinch bomb may have lasted a long time, so this guy might last a long time too. There's some yellow. Oh, that's cool. Mouth spilling up. Okay. Yeah, so it made me so sad the whole, you know, well, one of the reasons, but it makes me sad when I see Aladdin now with the whole, with Robin Williams being gone because he was just so brilliant in that movie. y'all that was so long ago now blows my mind when I see movies from like that period of my life and I'm like that could not have been that long ago but it was okay let me see if I can get Check out the watercolor a little bit too. Well, those are still going. 
actively going. Okay, yeah, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead, and I never do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, ask you, if you do like my videos, if you do watch me at least a good bit, or if you enjoy these at all, and you're not subbed to my channel, if you go ahead and do that for me, if you do like the videos, because YouTube, you've probably read or heard somewhere that YouTube has changed um, their partner program, and it just really sucks for a lot of us small creators because we are gonna lose a lot of um, video um, privileges and channel privileges which help us make our videos better. Um, it is, um, monetization is one of those things, but um, that doesn't really concern me that much because I think I told y'all in one of my last videos, it's just literally pennies as far as, um, you know, us really small guys go. But we will also lose, um, like I said, a bunch of, um, I don't know, privileges, um, is it maybe the right word? I think it's technically the right word, but um, features, that's what I'm thinking of. We'll lose features that um, we put on our videos or put in our videos that help us make our videos better. But anyway, so um, a lot of us will lose that YouTube partner status on February the 20th if we don't have a thousand subs and a certain amount of watch time, but I have reach that threshold, so I'm not in danger with watch hours, but I am with subscribers. So, I just hate to lose that because I have reached that goal previously, so just subscribe if you like the videos. If you'd like to. <laughs> if you don't, that's cool too. But anyway, so that's what's been going on with YouTube lately, if you didn't know. So, okay, well, those are almost done, so let's check out the watercolor up close. Very, very pretty blue. It's just like a true medium blue. It's not that light icy blue, and it's not that. It's just really, really pretty blue. And it's, the scent is very, very strong. It's really nice. There's just a teeny tiny piece back there. Okay, well, let's turn on the bubbles and see if we've got, see how many we've got. Hang on one second. videos have been kind of all over the place lately. Some have been without music, some have been with music. I've been talking a lot during some of them. You know what? It just kind of depends on what kind of mood I am, what kind of video I want to make. It depends on maybe the bath bomb and maybe what I think will be, I don't know, kind of good or appropriate with it, what will make a good video. But um, I don't know. There's really no rhyme or reason and I'm always trying to improve. So um, and see kind of what you guys like or what you might like. So. I don't know if that maybe um, might give you a little more insight on maybe why, maybe if you feel they're so sporadic, that's kind of a little um, peek inside my thought process. Okay, so there are a lot of nice frothy bubbles. They're the kind of just big loose kind. They may pop really quickly when I get in there if I turn the jets off, but it does look really nice and foamy. Okay guys, so I will be back in a few minutes and I will let you know how my bath was. All right guys, so I am done with my Aladdin inspired bath from Georgia Charms and there is some blue pigment left down in the bottom but I can tell that it is the kind that's just gonna rinse right down. So the moisture level on this bath bomb was about medium. I do still need a lotion and there was a little bit of shimmer in this bath bomb but not much. There's none left on my skin. The scent was really nice and it is lingering in the bathroom and the watercolor was really, really pretty. So definitely go ahead and check out Georgia Charms. Her links will be listed down below. She is an Etsy shop. And please, if you do like and watch my videos, I would really, really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for joining me, you guys. I will have more demos coming up very soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.